Welcome boys and girls uh, to another Battlefield 3 video. This one's pretty fun. This is a, a whole game of Viper action. This is right after the game started. It's a rush game. and <laughs> Here's my buddy Kyle trying to pick me up and I, I was hit B. I swear to God I was hit B. And it wouldn't recognize. Here's another fly through and I'm inside that thing. <laughs> it wouldn't let me in. So at this point I'm thinking an RPG is going to just smack him from the left and I'll never hear the end of it. But finally, finally make the connection. So we're up in the air and um this right here is what makes freaking Battlefield awesome. There goes uh, Brandon Kicky Taste with the swoop in. Uh, the jet, my god, he's good at that. So, what you're going to see here is basically we have a couple of pretty awesome pilots uh, in our crew. And one of them's right here, Kyle Monster, and the other one's Brandon Kicky Taste. They can both fly a chopper like it's uh, an extension of their arm. So, that's it's always fun to watch. And, and as a gunner, I got to tell you, there's something just absolutely just amazing about uh, having a good pilot and being able to, to just gun away. And I just love it. I just love the feeling. It's almost it's, it's unmatched in any other game. So this is uh, we do. I think we, we make it all the way to the end of this match and uh, without going down. And fun note, I had not been in a chopper in a while, so I forgot that flares were left trigger, not right bumper. I kept hitting right bumper thinking the game glitched on me, but I figured out the end. Yeah, you think I was a noob, so here we go. Uh, Kyle's got some amazing uh, low-to-the-ground skills here. He can get out of the way of a lot of things. We got a jet right on our ass right there, look at that. And, uh, and at this point, he's like, all right, let's go take care of him. I believe he used some sailor language, which we're not going to duplicate here, because that's just, uh, that'd be fucking horrible. So here we go. He is uh, walking on, trying to get some uh, connections here. I think, I don't know if we got him or not, but there, he's, he's popped. He's done. That's what happens when you come after us and shoot us in our butthole. You die. Just a little word to the wise. So, uh, I don't know if, did I say Pixel Hangover is winning? Pixel Hangover, the, uh, we're playing with the DoubleRambo.com guys. Uh, pretty much all the same people, but uh, DoubleRambo.com is our kind of fake clan that we created. It's, it's fun. Um, it's great going through applications. Nobody's going to get accepted. Uh, but uh, then we shoot our videos up on PixelHangover.com. So that's a little backstory there. So here we are painting the ground, just floating around. This is a Rush, in case I didn't mention it, which I believe on the consoles makes a lot more sense because it's you know you only have 24 people and it keeps everybody kind of concentrated uh, a little more. But yet you still see the whole map eventually. Actually, you get to see more of the map than than uh, than Conquest in some cases. Think of jeez, uh, why can't I can't think of the name? The one with the cliff. Um, where when you play Conquest, you see very little bit of that, that map. And um, you play Rush, you see two to three times as much. So this poor tank here is not going to have much left of him. we got a tank rolling up on him in top. Uh, and uh, we're taking care of him. I think that was Brandon that just made a pass on him too. So this guy's got no chance. And those of you that have played uh, or have been a gunner on a, on a chopper with... Uh, Maybe a pilot that doesn't really know what they're doing, it, it's really frustrating. Whereas if you watch his video, just how his control of, 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 of the flight and elevation and stuff is just mind-blowing. It just makes shooting so fun. It might actually be my favorite part of the game. Being a, being a gunner for someone who's a good pilot. But anyways, this, this game we pretty much dominate, um, as we did most of the day yesterday. So... I remember recording this video thinking, you know, we don't think we have many chopper runs up on uh, pixelhangover.com, so I figured we'd throw this one up, because uh, while I think I went 12-0 and 0 in the end, but it had some really cool moments, just, just basically, like I said, showing off some really good flight here, so we've cleared the, the second set of crates, we're waiting for the, uh, the go-ahead to the next one, uh, it's kind of the advantage of being able to fly over there and taking a look at stuff, uh, doing a little scout action for everybody, it's always important. If you have the ability to get farther ahead, you do that. You relay all the information back. We're working on a, on maybe getting some of the chatter that we have in game. Uh, I know Brandon and Kyle can do that when they record, but look at how low that is. I just freaking love it. Um, the problem with our chatter, and we've talked about it, is as a group, you know, we're pretty relaxed, but yet ooh, that, that jet tried to just, just ram us. We're pretty relaxed, but we can get really worked up, and there's been games where we just, if you had heard the chat, if you didn't hear see the video, you would have thought we lost. And we won by, you know, 
an ungodly amount. And then you look at us, we're all 23 and 4, and we're still pitching. So it might not always be. Uh, you know, it depends on the mood everybody's in. If we're in a good mood, then, then the, the chat's fantastic. So. Does it, like, does it say that uh, it looks like Brandon stole a lab? Because I don't think there's a lab on the offensive side there, so that's a good move by him. Combine that with our tank, and we got some... Uh, there goes a jet. Just love the action that happens in the battlefield. But as you can see, with, uh, with only 24 people, this works a lot better. Just having everybody I want you know, a couple objectives, and um, it actually works really well if you're a gunner. Just paint those those levels. Just gotta love it. Gotta love it. And uh, another thing that people don't do on consoles, and I, I don't know if they do on PC. I've, I've played like five minutes on a PC because my my little computer couldn't run it. I'm waiting for uh, an actual gaming PC, and then I'll then I'll jump on the PC side of Battlefield 3. But um, uh, one thing that people don't do. They did a lot more in Bad Company 2, even on the consoles, is, is spot. People don't spot. Uh, use that back button, people. Right here, I called out that guy to Brandon, and I think that he actually had to duck because he was paying any in trouble, but someone finally got him right there. Um, he may have gotten him, just didn't indicate. Took care of that tank. He did not last long. Yeah, if you're getting locked on, you pop your flares, you, 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 you get low. Uh, a lot of you can't people cannot lock on with stingers if you're if you're hovering low to the ground. So that's why you see Kyle uh, go to the bottom. And also another thing he does is go way high right here. So he's actually got an advantage on that jet, which is pretty crazy to think about it. But um, if he can get in good position, being able to hover um, and watch a jet go by is a lot easier than a jet having to make a run. And that that, that does go for every jet pilot. Obviously, there's jet pilots that destroy any chopper, but we didn't run into any in this game, that's for sure. So the third, the last set of crates have been opened, and it looks like the blues are heading that way. I know we swoop down and we actually show off or, or call out a number of people that were on their way to meet them, so I think that's what happens right here. Here we go. Just an awesome feeling. Right here to the left, you're going to see me I'm to call out of all those people right there. I'm like, I think I get one. Two. I got both. Okay. There could be more there, though, but I'd let everybody know. Very important. We got uh, Rapitaste, Nick, going to the left with the AAM track. He's a, he's a beast in the AAM track. I think he went 30 you know, in this game. Something ridiculous. And there he is. See, look at look what he's doing at the top left there. That is, that is a fucking pro move right there. Going around back because they spawn out uh, between the crates and the water out to the left of the building. Uh, right to the building right there. And um, he's going to come in behind him and just, it's like he, oh, you know, he's, uh, he used it as simply a, a mobile spawn at a good spot, and he's going to go in and get A. Clear out these, you know, walls, gives you good shots inside in case there's a, a fight that happens. I think we, you know, sometimes, you know, you get down the last crate, and if the other team, even if they're not great, can all concentrate on protecting that, and, and then you're, they don't have... Yeah, quite the fight on your hands, and that's actually when Battlefield gets real fun, so. It's not always fun just for steamrolling, that's for sure. Alright, so we got tons of guys out here. Um, we got distracted by the jet, and this game, yeah, we got about 15 seconds left, so. Thanks for watching, we appreciate it. A lot more on the way, pixelhangover.com, and hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.